Well, we've met the 21st century bionic man, and his name happens to be David. David, hello. Hello, how are you? I, I'm well, but clearly you've got a problem with your back. I don't anymore since I'm wearing this for the last five hours. What is this, really? Yeah, so this is an exoskeleton. It is a powered exoskeleton, so it's actually powered by a battery. And it knows your movements, it senses your movements as you move down and, and lower to lift something up. Once you start to move back up, it'll actually pull you back up to save and protect your lower back. What we found, and I think what you, anyone will actually tell you, is no one actually lifts with their legs. They might do it once or twice, but once they're actually into the actual job, once they're doing it over and over again, everyone's lifting with their back, and that's where this device comes in and helps protect that. So aside from fighting aliens, mm. um, who would need something like this? Yeah, so logistics, uh, heavy industry, anywhere where you're actually lifting heavy things over and over again, this is a key device because obviously with the lower back, that is an absolute uh, killer in terms of, of workman's comp. It's fully connected to the internet. So over the, over the cloud, you actually can tell how much you're actually lifting, how many steps you've done. It actually monitors the health of the worker to make sure that everyone is being safe in their job. Okay, that sort of sounds kind of goofy, like why would you need an internet-connected exoskeleton? Sure. But in the age of big data and artificial intelligence, you can't make predictions about health or worker safety without that data in that's the first place. That's exactly it, that's exactly it. And that's where the first step in any of that big data and any of those uh, that work is to make sure that you're monitoring the health and safety of your employees to make sure that they're being safe. Where's My Jetpack is not available in all timelines. 